Hey guys, how are you doing today? In this video, we will be seeing like see. I have purchased a Royal Enfield off-road helmet and I have not used it for a very long time because uh, the wind noise is really high okay so we cannot use it for a motor vlog and uh, if you wanted to use it for a motor vlog you need to have a chin mount unfortunately this helmet does not have a uh, option for mount uh, chin mount because this uh, helmet will get spoiled if if you put uh, this uh, M seal and other things this helmet is purely for off-road purpose and it is not for uh, motor vlogging or something like that uh, because it will uh, have a lot of wind noise and other things so the problem is that you cannot mount a chin mount in this helmet so I have purchased the Telesyn chin mount and it works perfectly fine and then uh, I am trying to use a very cheap mic uh, which is a mono mic or something I will show you what it is because right now I'm not affordable to purchase a road uh, lavalier mic so I have purchased this 400 rupees lavalier mic and apart from that well, I already had a road AC3 mic adapter so I have connected with that with that uh, we are going to test this test this mic and then wind noise and then uh, we are going to test how stable it is because like I have a lot of experience uh, once uh, when I was going for a, a motor vlog in an off-road location my GoPro jumped out of this chin so we need to check all this stability and then voice clarity uh, all these things we will uh, look into it but uh, I try to speak a lot of things uh, which uh, sometimes doesn't make sense so please please don't come and saying that uh, you have uh, spoken a lot of unnecessary things uh, because like I just wanted to see how clear my voice is and we wanted to check if the mic is picking up a lot of background noise and all these things that is what we're going to check and we wanted to see how the GoPro view is okay I have a GoPro Hero 9 with the max lens mod okay uh, so we wanted to see how the GoPro view uh, when you mount it on the chin because uh, I have an experience like I mounted it and I did a lot of vlogging motor vlogging and finally what I find is the camera is focusing down down on my speedometer and not on the road we are going to see all these things we are going to see how the view is how the voice clarity is and uh, in case if it is going to pick up all the background noise that is all the thing we are going to see so the content which I am going to speak is not going to make any sense so kindly ignore that if it if it doesn't make any sense okay come on guys let's go ahead and see how the voice clarity is okay hi guys now we're going to test our gopro hero 9 with medium mod uh, with the telesyn mount uh, telesyn chin mount this is an off-road helmet which i'm using this is an off-road helmet in the sense like uh, this is a royal enfield helmet i'll uh, go out and uh, let me show you how it is okay so here's my bike royal enfield himalayan okay just a minute I have mounted my helmet and uh, uh, you, you. so yes it's all good but I see that my GoPro is not capturing me capturing my tummy oh yeah this is good I think okay so this is the view you get this is the view you get when you mount your uh, GoPro here talking about the Telesyn mount okay uh, see this is the view you get out of uh, uh, when you mount it on your uh, chin with the telesyn mount okay oh my god somebody pouring water out there just out of uh, water damage and got my gopro replaced as you all know if you watch my vlog okay so let's see let me tell you what it is this is the view you got out of your uh, gopro hero 9 media mod and then telesyn mount so this is how it looks i think it's slightly focusing downwards actually it is if you if i have it in my other helmet i have another the helmet uh, that is oh my god that is a very big bomb my gopro is like dancing like hell let me see what what i should do so afraid to have my camera there maybe for uh, one or two minutes i can have it like that but uh, not always right because sometimes it will jump out of uh, jump out of the view uh, i'm so afraid to have it there i need to find out another way okay so this is how it is i have an uh, ls2 helmet the camera would be focusing a little slightly upwards so then it will be clearly visible the road will be visible everything will be visible right now i think uh, now it is like mostly we'll be seeing only like uh, my bike handlebar and then all these setups you will we'll be able to see but not uh, like uh, see, actually motor vlog is like it should be this should be covered this should cover as well as uh, whole of the road should be covered 
only then it will be nice but unfortunately i don't know let's see how how well it goes but i am not struggling to focus because i have a max lens smart so then uh, the camera would capture everything that is what i believe okay and uh, one more thing is right now i have a mask and a uh, huge noise is going out some tuk 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 sound is going out and uh, the wind noise is heavy with my helmet wind noise is really heavy in my helmet and i'm using a mic called mono mono or moana or how do you pronounce i don't know i have that mic installed let's see how the audio is getting recorded because like a road mic is totally different we will get lot of uh, difference we can see lot of difference out there because road mic will give a very good uh, audio uh, let us see if we get uh, the same audio clarity this okay that is what we are trying to see we will try to go till v gears because that is the only place i know we can check everything out there okay Ooh, what a place guys himalayan i love himalayan the most himalayan himalayan last time when i was trying with same uh, mono mic uh, i had lot of uh, creech sound and other things other disturbances were there but now i don't think uh, we'll have creech sound because i'm using a road uh, adapter one more thing is like uh, after i go on 100 km speed on uh, one particular place my got disconnected from my thing that is a problem with that so let's see how it goes this uh, road is little crowded because it is sunday weekend so people will be crowded here i feel that helmet is little what uh, heavy slightly heavy than uh, yesterday heavier than yesterday yesterday it was light but today it's little heavy because because of the gopro my god the gopro is only this much it's not even 200 gram i think so maybe because of that uh, media mod and all other things so uh, it, it is weighing heavier i'm not sure about it it's like slightly going down in the front because it's got like a huge uh, weight today we have got this uh, telecent chin mount and then gopro media mod max lens mod and then gopro hero 9 so all these things are there right so that is why it is like this hopefully let's see how it is uh, going to go if i get an uh, thing like i can mount my camera here so then uh, it won't be a problem see now the camera is changed its position it's changed uh, slightly down i don't know i tightened it very well but still due to a lot of uh, bumps and other things it came out totally this thing is not worth it i'm totally afraid because there is no support and it will definitely one day will bump out right because it's just a glue maybe not today but on a, some other day it definitely will jump out so that is what i'm so totally afraid of i just want to see how my helmet looks hi this is the full view right oh my god this is what uh, the maximum full view it can go on is it oh that's really bad be super view right you should also have super view right guys i don't know what is wrong with this the road is really bad and i'm totally afraid what will happen to my gopro hero 9 if it is going to fall down that's it it's totally going to be go waste so it's better to buy something else and uh, mount it on my mount it there okay if i mount it there then it is going to be really nice it's going to stay there until now i have uh, spoken uh, a lot hopefully everything is getting recorded actually i know this helmet looks really cool but i wanted to see how the telecin chin mount and uh, how is it affecting the uh, this helmet's beauty so i want to see that so that is why i have got that camera okay see, check it out it's totally everything is dancing only after i reach home i'll know like how this camera is how the view is and all i need to install an uh, is sorry na sorry na This is the maximum I can do about this uh, uh, helmet uh, mount you know nothing more or uh, nothing uh, less I can uh, we can do about this telecin chin mount this is the maximum we can do about it So we have come to V gears if you are able to see Okay, we are racing up. We guess. Okay, slightly raising it up. We're able to see. Okay, we're sitting on the bike. This is my helmet setup. This is uh, GoPro Max Lens Mod, Media Mod, GoPro Hero 9. Okay, 
and then this is a Telesan mount. This is a Telesan mount which I have mounted. I uh, hope you guys know about this helmet. See, I have I have covered it with the electrical tape so that no water goes inside, and I have put that uh, inside the Telesan Velcro strip so that it stays strong. Even if it is going to rain, I will just remove this and put it inside the helmet. So nothing is going to get wet. And then uh, and. Here's my mic. I have uh, kept my mic like this. Okay, you see this? This is my mic. I did a little bit of uh, jugad so that I cut here, uh, cut uh, cut in this place. I cut the plastic here and uh, put the Velcro strip like this. I have got, got this Velcro strip like this. So this is how I did it. This is the Velcro strip actually holding this uh, mic adapter. And uh, this is a road this is a Rode AC3 mic adapter, okay? It is connected here, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you like it and uh, hope this video was informative. Please like, subscribe and share, okay? Bye.